I'm a business guy, so I won't go into much more technical details, but uh, I'll be sharing you uh, our experiences and our mistakes uh, during our latest development, and hopefully uh, you won't be making them and saving you uh, from lots of time. First of all, who we are. Uh, we are a game studio based in Istanbul. We founded in 2009. We are 12, 12 people on board. Uh, let me briefly go over uh, what we have done uh, till this late. Uh, Townster was our first game. Uh, it was like a uh, city building property management game. It was very successful in Turkey, reached uh, more than four, four million players. And it was one of the first social games uh, produced in Turkey. Uh, depending on its success, uh, we made a partnership with uh, Saudi Telecom and we've built and remake hyper-localized version of Townster, uh, the game called Baldati, uh, for just Saudi Arabia and also the MENA region. It was also very successful uh, when you consider the uh, reach of the region and it has reached more than 2 million people. And lastly, uh, we built an, uh, we had a co-development project with like a studio called Nowhere Studios. Basically, uh, it was like in uh, casual gaming platform, pl platform. The idea was to present all the popular casual games together in a one just platform. There was like the bubble shooters, solitaires, uh, brain quiz, and also typing games. It is also successful. But uh, after building those casu casual games, we decided, decided to change our focus a bit uh, from casual games to much more core games. And since uh, our most of the team was like consists of core games, uh, core gamers, at some point we wanted to build games that uh, we also wanted to play. And uh, the development of Horde Master started in like 2011, and which I'll be explaining you today and also giving you lots of detail uh, in terms of how the idea changed. Basically, uh, Horde Master is a third-person shooter game uh, with a blend of RPG and strategy elements. Uh, in the last March, we have received an award in San Francisco uh, for the best social, casual and online game award. And also we are showcasing our game in, in the track this year. Uh, please come check it uh, if you have time. Uh, you can think of Horde Master, uh, Horde Master is like a mix of uh, Borderlands and Clash of Clans. Most of you are aware of those games. And there are like thousands of weapons and configurations, uh, customizations uh, in our game. Uh, on top of that, there's like a base building mechanism uh, similar to a uh, strategy layer uh, of Clash of Clans. Players are trying to build some maze-like bases uh, guarded by their mutant soldiers and other players are attempt to breach their base. If they're successful, uh, they get the resource loot. And I have a very old uh, trailer. Uh, it's like one and a half year old, but it can give you a sense of our attraction. By the way, uh, nothing looks like this for now, but it has the sense. like a combat trailer uh, where we just focused on the combat part but there's like a different strategy layer also uh, but let me go over uh, how we how this idea evolved and uh, the mistakes that we have been made at this process uh, yeah here like the thought process of uh, us and how the idea changed first of all there was like several events several announcements uh, that made us change our uh, direction in game design and also in the development and all the we have affected by the Chrome's, Adobe's, and also Unity's decisions in the way. And uh, yeah, th those are uh, th 
those announcements and following up those announcements just uh, made us lose some time. Well, our initial idea was also uh, to keep the sh shooter and strategy elements together. We feel, we feel that it might be an interesting idea to keep the shooters and strategy, uh, but uh, we want to present a game that is much more cuter, uh, that's much more co co colorful. Here you see the our first drafts, art drafts. Uh, the game was again planned to be in Flash. It was like in it has like a 2D game world. Uh, there's like a gallery shooter mechanism uh, where you just stand still and enemies come towards you and you just shoot them. Uh, despite uh, being a gallery shooter game, it had like very cute graphics, colorful theme. Uh, we didn't want to scare our users with like uh, uh, gore, blood, bloody graphics because we appeal to casual to mid-core players at that time. Uh, and the gameplay was much of like the Heroes of Might and Magic. You see there's like a uh, map-based progression and, and on encounters uh, the game played as a shooter. Here, here there are also uh, other art sketches. Uh, it, it was funny, the game was looking very good, but in the end we didn't like the gameplay. Uh, we found it too childish and not it was not that fun shooting at standing still. Uh, then we had the idea to explore the idea a bit, shooter and strategy concept, but uh, we wondered how the game would look like in 3D. Uh, we started experimenting with uh, available 3D engines. Uh, one of them was like the ev 3D, Broomstick those days. But uh, the biggest problem was to build a 3D game at that time, like two and a half years ago, was there was lack of a decent uh, game editor uh, in Flash, uh, because with the game editor you can just speed up the content preparation and also the production. Of course, we had the uh, option to make it ourselves, uh, make our own editor, but we just want to focus on the game development rather than uh, developing the tools for the first, because we are like a small team. At that time, uh, just Unity announced uh, their export to Flash. It was a great news for us, because uh, if we're going to just go with the Flash, we could use the Unities as a visual editor, uh, and also their export to Flash, because we were just sticking to the Flash idea again. Uh, we had the idea to make the game Flash since uh, it, it has wider adoption at, at, at least at those days. Then uh, we decided to use uh, Unity as a game editor, uh, where we could just our visual parts programmed in there, and then just export it to Flash. Then uh, other made another announcement. Basically, they were allowing uh, full screen mouse lock. It was uh, the ideal environment for like making a 3D shooter, and then uh, these two announcements just encouraged us uh, to just change the game from the 2D scope to 3D and go for a 3D shooter. This was our uh, game engine before the announcement, at, at least that was planned. We had planned a uh, library manager, physics, logic, communication manager and user interface. But after the Unity's announcements, uh, we just dropped the uh, asset library and physics. We just focused on, at least on flash part, the game logic, uh, the communication manager and the UI system. Uh, well, we've also accepted uh, Unity's beta program. Uh, we had early access to Flash exports. Uh, we just used Unity uh, as our visual editor. We just coded in C Sharp and on ActionScript, uh, we used uh, ActionScript 3 for, uh, for the logic and also other stuff. Uh, at the end, we had like uh, two, two different S SWF files connecting to each other. One of them uh, exported from Unity, one of them just received from the Flash. Here uh, you see the transition, uh, the cute 2D graphics just uh, changed into 3D. This is uh, how the game looked like in 3D. So environment is like ju just a placeholder. You can check out the enemies here. Um, here the problem was like uh, the game was controlled by the mouse movements. Uh, you just click on place and the play, uh, player your character goes there. And also you just click an enemy and just the combat starts. You don't have uh, much more control there. This was like an, uh, boring for us. Uh, we were aiming for like a bigger control on our character. Then just came out the Adobe's uh, announcement. It was also a big news for us because they now announced that uh, they will be giving support for full screen uh, keyboard input. That meant uh, that meant for us then we can use our character using W A S D keys or the arrow keys. Then the ideal environment uh, was for therefore to make like a uh, 3D uh, third person shooter. And uh, we just chose there, we just uh, tried to go there to make a uh, third person shooter. It 
gave us a lot of freedom in terms of movement and in terms of lots of things, but uh, they all came with a price. The problem with that, uh, we had like been going to third person shooter. There is a lot of work on the animation side for the character animations because it can be now controlled by the characters. Uh, they have a lot of animation blends and a lot of stuff. And uh, at the beginning, we had the idea uh, to make like game uh, linear progression through a map. And also, it was kind of problematic because we had to design lots of maps, uh, lots of levels. And we have like three people our team. Uh, when you consider that at the beginning and also at the later stages, it would create a lot of work for our uh, art guys. And we decided to go uh, in a different way and to make the game in sandbox. Uh, it was uh, for, for the production uh, meaning, it, 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 it gave us a lot of time. But uh, on the other, uh, besides on the art side, uh, blending shooters and strategy elements together in a sandbox game uh, would make a lot of difference, uh, at least among the other shooters. Here, uh, you give users some tools uh, and they design the level for you and other players are uh, experiment and play with it. We just love the idea. This is the final design of our game. Uh, actually, we have two games, basically. Uh, on one part, we have strategy. They're like the base building parts, uh, player starts to development of their character through uh, item research, production, and also crafts. And there's like the base defense. You produce your mutants, and they guard your base as base defenses. On the third person shooter part, we have like tons of uh, weapons because we generate it on procedurally. Uh, literally more than 1,000 weapons are available in the game. There's lots of tactical variety. There are different skills, uh, resource loots, and also item pickups. And uh, yeah, there's we have like a two game uh, connecting to each other. Here's uh, I'll show you a couple of uh, early look and feel screenshots. Uh, at at the beginning, uh, we had the base in an open environment, but after very late uh, user taste tests, we, re we realized that uh, having a combat on similar flat surfaces like this uh, gets boring after a little while. But the uh, critical point is here uh, that we had the tests uh, very late. We understood that, at least on that part, uh, creating different moods and setting up different variations for environments just got needed uh, to make it uh, much more exciting. And instead of making combat in like empty fields like this, uh, we decided to go another way. Uh, here, basically, the uh, rooms are here. Uh, do you see my mouse here? Yeah, no. Uh, all the buildings are just required for like uh, producing resources or producing something uh, from the upper top uh, left corner. But and then we just go to the different uh, strategy and uh, making room-based uh, combats. In each room, uh, there's a different theme, def different setup. Uh, players have to go each room uh, in order to reach the headquarters of their enemies. This is the uh, condition for winning the combat. It it gave us a lot of choice. It gave us a lot of tension. Uh, here, I will show you a couple of screenshots. The upper one is like a forge building. Uh, you produce metal resource. The below one is like a chemical plant. It has uh, different moods for players. And it actually gave the sense. And it made our combat uh, much better. But after uh, finalizing game in uh, Flash, uh, Unity just announced, uh, made an an another announcement. and. They just sunset Flash in just a while. Uh, after working with like 18 months with uh, Flash, they decided that uh, it's not going to work and they'll be dropping their Flash export. Well, uh, it was really devastating for us because uh, we just had the game ready, but we were making a couple of updates and fix uh, bug fix from the Unity site, at least for the Flash. But uh, they just dropped it. And uh, unfortunately, we had to change uh, our path again because uh, there was no thing uh, that we could move with the Unity at that part, at least. Uh, then we decided to port all our Flash codes uh, to Unity, at least to make the game playable in Unity, because uh, it would be much more performance when you con consider it with the Flash. And I think this transition costs us more than six months. And uh, the latest uh, thing on our coffin is like the Chrome's announcement. Are you familiar with that? Chrome just announced that they'll be dropping their uh, NPAP support, which means that uh, Chrome will not be working Unity players uh, after 2014. 
it, uh, well, our aim was to release our browser version first, uh, to get some user data, finalize our design. And since the user acquisition costs are very high on mobile, we just want to release our browser version to get the brand name ready, at least to get some uh, community around it. Then we are planning to release our uh, mobile version. But after that announcement, we had to prioritize a mobile. And we just changed all the things again and again. And uh, now we are focusing on uh, mobile part. After really playing ping pong with all the announcements and after making all the changes, uh, now uh, we chose the safest path. Uh, at least there is no bump in our way. There is no nothing uh, that could change. And now we are sticking to mobile version. And here's our uh, lessons learned uh, for you after really a painful uh, three-year development period. Uh, we were basically working with like unstable technologies uh, that affected our uh, produ pro production time and also design. And we made lots of errors uh, a lot of time while we were waiting the Unity, Adobe, and also lately the Chrome. Maybe here are some advices uh, for you to keep your at least uh, development time on, uh, on track. Well, uh, being an early adapter uh, might not be too good for you, uh, as always, uh, because at the beginning we were planning to release maybe the first console quality shooter on Flash. And we thought that uh, it might be very important for us as a studio, at least to get our name uh, in the world. But it turned out to be a failure, uh, and nobody has achieved that yet, basically. And you should stick to stable technologies if you are really s uh, small and fragile, unless you are not directly working with the vendors like the Unity or uh, Adobe, because then you will have much more favors and uh, you could have much more access to their uh, code base. They can help you, at least. Uh, yeah, prototyping is really key, as you have heard it uh, from lots of and lots of developers. And every experienced game developer ju just uh, understands and uh, learns that. Because uh, you have to first uh, make your prototype, make the toy earlier, and then start to build uh, on top of that. If your toy is not uh, fun, is not uh, playable enough, then nothing could make your game better. Uh, you have to make that uh, firstly. We had our prototype very late in the process, and my guess we might be lost again six to eight months there in our development time. Yeah, the testing and user feedback would be again key. Uh, our game was fully, Flash version was really working well in the office, uh, in all the computers. Uh, but we decided to organize a beta test in, in a real uh, market, and we organized the test in Philippines, because uh, there was really low configured machines in Philippines. The results was really devastating. Uh, despite the game is working very good in our devices, uh, nearly half of the people could not just play the game because of the performance of issues of the uh, Flash. And after the Unity's announcements, uh, that's why we also uh, abandon one abandon Flash because uh, it was really a low performance on Flash. And if we had that maybe test earlier, uh, we could have saved lots of lots of dev time for us. And lastly, uh, making shooter is tough, because a lot of people just think that uh, shooters are very simple games. They just uh, point at the enemies and uh, click them until they die, but uh, it's not true. Uh, it's much more deeper than that. There's a lot of thing going uh, beneath the surface. There are the animations, the movements, the opponents, their animations, the environment, and skills, and on top of that, you have to present a really solid uh, feedback mechanism, and that takes really uh, a long time, and please don't overlook and underestimate them. Well, uh, this covers much of our experience, and I hope you benefit from them, uh, learn from our mistakes, and uh, have a better development experience. Uh, we have a desk on the in the track area. Please come visit us uh, to check the latest demo of our game, Hardmaster. Thank you for listening to me.